No Film School's NAB 2022 coverage is brought to you by Blackmagic Design and Creative Solutions, which consists of small HD, Teradeck, and wooden camera. And Atomos. So I'm here with Trevor from Atomos, who's going to tell us a little bit about what you guys have going on this year at the booth. What, what, what's new what in the Atomos verse? Well, uh, where to start? Um, so this show, we've announced a lot of uh, connected products uh, and our cloud, our cloud services. So we've got two new products at the show. We've got the uh, Atomos Connect, a uh, brand new module that goes on the back of our very popular Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus. Um, snaps right on the black, right on the back, very nicely integrated, adds a whole bunch of new connectivity features, a whole bunch of networking features, uh, built-in time code sync, the time code sync te technology that we have been pushing for a couple of years now, um, adds SDI uh, input as well so that you can connect to SDI cameras. Um, and the other product that's come out as well is our uh, Shogun, um, Shogun Connect, our new 7-inch monitor. Okay. Um, has all the same features as the Atomos Connect connectivity features, plugs into the same workflows, but also has a nice brand new 7-inch monitor, very high bright, 2,000 nits. Uh, we think that's going to be uh, we think that's going to be really successful. And underpinning all of that, we've announced a whole bunch of cloud services. So we've got a whole bunch of tools for collaborators where you can connect your devices straight to the our cloud services. Uh, there's stuff in there for streaming, uh, camera to cloud. We've just announced a big deal partnership with uh, Frame.io to get to get footage straight into Frame.io. Um, we'll be bringing on a whole bunch of kind of uh, file sharing stuff um, connected to a whole bunch of file sharing services, uh, streaming to social platforms, all to be bundled in um, some fairly uh, reasonably cost and easy to use packages. Oh, that's awesome. So I, so I could buy a Shogun, connect it to my camera, and I'm it's my monitor and my recorder, and it's also streaming this data to the cloud so that I can edit it later? Yeah, absolutely correct. So if you're familiar with the current 7-inch Shogun, it'll have all the same features, our current products, a full monitor recorder, um, has all the features, you know, ProRes, ProRes RAW, DNX, all the usual codecs. Um, it's, it will support 8K uh, RAW, um, as well as being able to do dual record, so you'll be able to record uh, ProRes, DNX, um, high quality files at the same time as recording proxies. Those proxies can go straight to the cloud, mm -hmm. straight into uh, camera to cloud services like Frame.io, so it's, yeah, it's really an all-in-one kind of powerhouse. Yeah, wow. And 2,000 nits, that means I'm at... Yep. Can you just shift your room? Yep. 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 Um, and 2,000 nits, that's, I'm in broad daylight shooting any kind of conditions. I, I can I can see everything I want, plus I'm, I'm getting this, this kind of dual stream, the, the proxies and the uh, the full record. What what drives Atomos? What what makes you guys think? What's what's the engine that makes you develop these products? Customers. That's simple as that. Uh, Atomos was founded on the notion that you put really good tools uh, in the hands of people that that are really easy to use, accessible, uh, at a good price point. Uh, and just let them go nuts with with their creativity, and then we're doing exactly the same thing with these new products. We want to make uh, access to these distributed kind of cloud workflows really easy, really cost effective, really simple, uh, and it's the same sort of uh, Atomos way that we've done with all of our products, and we're continuing on that on that sort of journey with the uh, Atomos Connect and the uh, Shogun Connect. Yeah, I, I mean, I think of it's five years ago we didn't have all these cloud services, and now they're essential to workflows. You think about shows like Steve. Even Soderbergh when he did the, the Nick and he's editing on the same that, he, that he's shooting like all of a sudden these things are reality that weren't before but I think of Atomos as being one of the companies that, that kind of put these tools in the hands of independent filmmakers almost like part of our DNA is like how can we do the things that the big boys are doing what like most excites you when you look at this suite of products? Is it is it that it's moves things forward? Is it that oh this one thing is is it's knocked down a domino that, that clears like what what do you like brings a kind of spark to your eye when you think of this this new lineup? Well, I think it's well I think it's at that point you've you've just made it's the idea that workflows um, uh, and tools that some independent filmmakers might have thought were out of their reach you know, a few years ago, uh, 
uh, we're highly passionate about putting those tools in the hands of people who previously weren't able to access those sort of tools. So um, I'd say that's what the business was found on, founded on when we made our first, uh, our very first Ninja, mm -hmm. um, with these new cloud services and these new products. I mean, that's the thing that gets us out of bed is getting these great tools in the hands of as many people as possible, because everyone deserves the everyone deserves the access to the best, mm -hmm. and you know everyone benefits, right? I mean, if every if all the content we we see is made with the best tools, then everyone wins. That's beautiful. Look, somebody signs into the cloud services. What do they see? What do they? What, what what does it look like? How does it how does it work for the end user? So it'll be it'll be a very intuitive experience. So what what will happen is you'll sign in. Uh, You'll add your devices to your account, and we've got a very simple way to do that. So your Ninja or your Shogun, a very sort of simple three-word mechanism that the device will give to you. You'll enter those details in the web interface. The device will be entered into your into your account, and from there on in, you can easily connect it to all the services that are available, whether it be setting up a stream directly to YouTube, or adding it to a Frame.io project, or uh, you know, logging into uh, you know Dropbox or, or Google Drive or something like <laughs> that to share your files. Uh, it'll all be managed from that uh, kind of that central cockpit, if you like. So, that, so that's wonderful that you can use so many different services. It's not kind of opinionated about what kind of digital service it, it streams it and makes it available for different things like that. Uh, what what have people used these for so far? I mean, have you when you beta test things like what have people been excited to from the field? They come back and they tell you, oh, I, I can't believe I was able to do this we haven't we haven't quite got the system live yet so okay we okay had, we haven't had a lot of that feedback the system will go live roughly kind of start of june okay uh it'll be live for the first three months completely free mm -hmm. so that's the that's the period for us to really get under the skin of you know what what users like about the service mm -hmm. what needs a bit of tweaking mm -hmm. we'll use that we'll use that as kind of three months as a bit of a sort of a beta test with our customers find out what they like what they don't like mm -hmm. listen to the feedback mm -hmm. we'll improve the system if it needs improving but really keen to really keen to hear what our customers Think. And the, the great thing about making uh, flexible tools and giving users a lot of and customers a lot of options is, you know, you can never predict what they're going to do with them. Right? Right, Give right. them a nice toolkit of stuff and let them go nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I can't wait to see. Um, is there an opportunity for? I know we were talking about uh, demoing stuff. Are we be able to? See, are there's a film you were going to show us, or, or what are some pieces that we can see, or, or, or is there anything we can touch? I, I would love to just. Um, Play with it. Yeah, frankly. absolutely. Yeah. We've got a couple of we've got a couple of benches set up where um, both uh, uh, the cloud services stuff is set up, and we, we're, we're also introducing the show um, some live production stuff that's mm -hmm. really interesting to oh, okay. the cloud mm -hmm. that, um, that we're bringing to market. So yeah, we can uh, we can wander over and uh, have a look at all that stuff hands on. Okay. Okay. Great. Cool.